Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Lucky Line. This is their part number 1674020. This is a medium key identifier sold in a package of 20 in a green color. Now the fluorescent lights above here um, portray this with a bit more blue than actually, and while they're a light green, they're certainly closer to green than they are that somewhat false fluorescent light uh, effect on these items. They're greener than that is what I'm trying to say. Now, here is the item. I've got one removed from the packaging. The part number conspires to mean multiple things actually. Well, it's a key identifier. It conspires to mean the color, the packaging type, and the quantity that you get in the package. And we're going to go over that in a moment. Medium size would be appropriate for typical house keys. Um, your Schlage, your quick set, regular head size keys, perhaps an ignition key for an older style vehicle. Got about a one inch on the outside. Okay, it has the slot there that you will insert the blade of the key down through and into the hole and then stretch this over the head. Keeps keys that are similar separated by color, will stretch over most standard key heads for easy identification. Rubber-like material, it's vinyl, but resists cracking and color fading, and is made of a superior type product. Not recommended for ignition, ignition keys, but if you've got a 1986 GMC uh, Safari uh, pickup, it's going to work just fine. Okay. Now, there is, let's talk about how we got that part number. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Lucky Line products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, along with a link to the full product catalog. Now, if you would like to open that catalog up and perhaps do a, uh, a, a search for just the first part of the part number, 1674, you'll be able to do a find function on your keyboard and get to the page where that is listed. The important part about that page is you can see, and while it is in, indeed a bit intimidating initially to look at it, um, when you start to study it, you can, you can see where the part number creation comes in. So you've got a 167 part number, which is for medium. You can see that the 7 in the part number changes to mean medium. So 1 6 small, 1 6 medium, 1 6 large. The 7 is the medium. Then we've got a 4 0. And as you study the balance of that page, okay, so you're looking at a 1 6 7, then the color. The only way to derive that on that page is by inserting the color after the 167, and green is 40. So 167, key identifier, medium, green. That's where we are so far. And that 40 can be changed into different color colors as well by changing that part number. 20 for black, 30 for blue, uh, 40 for green, 65 for purple, 68 for magenta, 70 for red, 80 for yellow, then some neons. 40, I think it's 46 for neon green, 56 for o neon orange, 50, uh, pardon me, 66 for neon pink, and 86 for neon yellow. Then, when you add the 20 to the end, is where you're going to get that 20 pack. Okay? So as you study that page, you, while it does take some looking, and I'm cheating because I've done it before, uh, you can find what that means. Now, you can see what do I have to change the part number to to change the quantity and vis-a-vis -vis the packaging type. This is an industrial pack. That's code for a plastic bag. But up above, you can see how there's display box, carded, clip strip, small jar, small clear box, and industrial pack. So you can change the packaging type to suit your needs. If you're just going to tear these open and use all of them right away, uh, or you know, deploy them. There's no reason to spend the extra money for a display box. If you're a small hardware store and you want to have key identifiers for sale through your checkout flow in your store, that's perfect for you. Or a lock shop would also be 
quite perfect as well uh, to consider a display box. Uh, also, that small jar can be considered a display option as well. Okay, and the quantities change as well. You can um, get assorted colors, which are very common as well, and it's all there. Now, as you look at the rest of the catalog, or I should say, if you have more than an occasional need for key management hardware, you will want to look at the rest of the catalog because the name uh, Lucky Line is quite synonymous with all things key management hardware related. Not only key identifiers that will go on to the top of keys, which I like to for identifying keys really in the dark is what helps me more. Color coding, certainly I don't have an application where I need to color code, uh, but I do have an application to find a key in the dark. So having a key identifier is very handy for that as well. If you've got a, you know, garage door, side door, back door, basement door, you know, you might have one key differently than everything else. So that's very handy. Or at least to know, I'm not at my parents' house, I'm at my house, so don't need to try that key in the door. Anyway, uh, Lucky Line, synonymous with key management hardware. There's a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Lucky Line products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, along with a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Lucky Line, they're part number 1674020, green, medium, industrial, package of 20 key identifiers, or any other Lucky Line product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you very much.